welcome back. Um, happy Friday. Um, right off the bat, as always, <clears throat> excuse me, drop your questions and comments in your respective chats, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, etc. And Nicole is the most awesome assistant ever in the history of the universe. It's Friday. Let's give thanks. How about everybody gives a little thanks to Nicole? Huge help. I wouldn't be able to do this. I would not be able to come on here and scream like an idiot about stocks every single day for like 400 days without Nicole's help. So give me a thanks for Nicole. That being said, um, CRVS is kind of the most liquid, um, relatively low float stock on Oracle this morning. Um, you know, I talk about with Oracle a lot, quite frequently, it, uh, you know, that's our stock prediction algorithm. It quite frequently, quote unquote, likes dip and rips. It sees major resistance at 360. We've got 11 million shares, which is roughly half of the float traded so far. Um, I do really like CRVS, uh, and dip and rip. So let's get to some questions. J Knight asks about Tell. Strong 30-day uptrend. Analyst coverage. Average price target $5. High target buy rate. CNBC coverage. Well done, J Knight. I like your due diligence, J Knight. I always love it. Listen, whether I agree with the stock or not, I always agree when you bring the DD, you know, the, the due diligence. So, um, thank you, Jay. Uh, what I see is a stock. So, so let's talk about this. This is a good technical example. We've talked a lot of technical analysis this week. Um, what I see is a stock that, that broke the gap back in June. It then gave back the gap in August and it has now failed to close that gap back to back days. So, you know, so my thing is it's pulling back after attempting to break that resistance at 350, which in my opinion comes in play back to the spring as well. Um, I don't I don't love it, Jay. Jay, as much as I love your due diligence, and I appreciate the fact that there's a lot of price targets. I'm not, and always, as always, understand this is not a bash, but most of what we do here, you know, this is where we talk about techno fundamental analysis. All right. I don't know if I made up that term. You know, maybe I, maybe I ate too much venison and, and, and had a fevered dream of techno, techno analysis, but I probably stole it from somebody, but most of what we do, especially when we're talking day trades, is technical. Then we bring in a little fundamentals. So I agree with your fundamental analysis, Jay, and this is not a bash of your stock, but from a technical analysis on a day trade level, I think you're, you're trying to fight the chart. But again, love, love it. IRNT. So this was, man, I thought, I thought we were going to get something special yesterday afternoon. This was the number one focus on the Steady Trade Team webinar. Um, I waited and waited and waited. And, uh, you know, it really, I, I joked about it. I really thought it was going to be today's JCS, or, or I'm sorry, yesterday's. I, I'm going back to yesterday. During that webinar, I'm like, man, this thing's going to go. I just got to be patient. And if you remember JCS on. Wednesday. So look at the chart of JCS. You'll know what I mean. It tried, ultimately gave up the ghost. Um, at the end of the day, it's a 17 million float stock. And we're talking blue sky, you know, back in the 40s. So this goes, I think I consider this a weak open red to green in early. So so if you're look, if this is your main idea, I'd look for red to greens early and then afternoons. Yeah, I mean, most of you know what I'm going to say. You know, it's it's a uh, it's Friday, so that's your afternoon level. So break a previous day's highs, relatively low float stock, 
full on short squeeze, blue sky above, early, red to green, afternoon, yesterday's highs. Definitely a top watch. I do not, even though IRNT is gapping down, I don't think it's over. So, um, Walleye Gill asks about IPHA. So, IPHA, man, they're trying. So, whoops. What am I doing? There we go. Uh, IPHA, they just keep pumping out the press releases. So they're, they're trying. You know, when I when I talk about stocks that, that want to play the game, these guys keep putting out news. Um, nice level there. Uh, yet, yeah, oh, beautiful. So other than the float, I would consider this, you know, the only box I'm not checking, and obviously I'm speeding through this. Speaking of that, um, remember guys, if you go to stocks to trade.com slash free training, and I believe I put this on the daily accelerator, but stocks to trade.com slash free training day trading one Oh one it's free. And I think it would be really helpful to a lot of you guys. When I, when I talk about going through the sheet, you're probably like, well, Tim, you didn't fill out no sheet. Okay, well, I'm doing it mentally, okay? 15 years of filling out these sheets, and we got time constraints. I do it mentally. But if you go to Day Trading 101, right there in the middle, it's free. You get the worksheet that I'm mentally filling out. And then just so you guys know, I'm flying out to Cali in a week, and I'm going to film Swing Trading 101 and Short Selling 101. So that's the other reason I bring it up. If you go to stockstrade.com slash free training, you go there, you give your email, you'll get notified when the swing trading and the short selling courses drop. So I think I'm flying out into next week or something. So now we got to film them. They got to get edited. They got to get released. So it'll probably be a few weeks. But if you go there, you get the sheet and you're on the list. That being said, other than the float, Walleye Gill, this is, you know, I'm, I'm going to call this a 92.5% textbook dip and rip. Just miss it. I mean, if, if this was a 7 million floater, I'd be screaming like an idiot right now. Just missing low float. And as always, we try and check as many boxes as possible, but it's difficult. I mean, it's not every day you're going to get something that checks every box. So that's not a bash. And I really like this stock. I mean, it's all, again, talking about blue sky. We're, we're at that level right now. So Chris Gilson asked about CRVC. I'm guessing CRVS. Chris, I'm, Chris, I'm going to assume you're asking CRVS, probably a typo. Um, we already talked about CRVS again, 360, 370, post 945, dip and rip. And again, this is what I would call the number one Oracle play of the day. Because once it breaks that 360 resistance, I think you've got a good level to risk off of. And let me show you. Let me just grab that real quick. So 360 is currently major resistance. Um, I, need a, I need my signal from Oracle. But again... I got 12 million volume. I got 50% float rotation early in the day. So I'm assuming you're asking about CRBS. What do you think about Lulu over 430? Um, I have not. I kind of lost track of Lulu after it had a couple red days. Oh! Oh! So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to say this. Remember, if, if, you're, uh, if, you're on, if you're subscribed to the YouTube or the Instagram or the Facebook, which if you're not, ring that bell, subscribe, share with your friends. But uh, if you remember, Lulu was my number one high price swing idea from last weekend. Um, you know, I hate excuses. There are a few other, there are a few things. There are a few things. I was going to give an example, probably get me in trouble. <laughs> I'll skip the example. There are a few things I hate more than excuses. 
I don't know if there's anything I hate more than excuses. But I will say this. I think Lulu, everything I said last week is, is still in play. The one lame excuse I will give you, really choppy SPY this week. So if you're like, yeah, hey, Tim, you're lame. Your number one swing idea is lame. This is my, I will, I will retort with a lame excuse. And that's that. I mean, if you've been trading for a while, I don't, I, I don't think any of the longtime traders are going to argue with this. I mean, look at that absolute chop fest on the SPY did, um, this week. And I mean, remember the, the, it's, it's a good thing and a bad thing. But high-priced, quote-unquote, real stocks tend to trend with the SPY. And that's my lame excuse for why Lulu isn't breaking out. Now, I will close this and say that video is still on the YouTube. It's still on Instagram. It's still everywhere. Everything I said last last weekend on Lulu is the same, you know. And uh, I've made this joke a million times, you know. I may be old and yell a lot, angry all the time, but I am consistent. You know, I, I, uh, I think through my opinions. Okay. I know I go fast here. I throw a lot of stuff out, but I, I, I think through my opinions. I've got 15 years of experience. I don't just throw stuff out, hoping it sticks. And I do my best, especially to help you guys. I mean, I, you know, I think consistency is very important when you're learning something. And if I'm jumping around, throwing all out all these obscure concepts, I'm changing opinion day to day, it gets very confusing. So that being said, everything's the same on Lulu. Um, I'm going to finish on a, oh, oh, SDC. And then I want to wrap up with CEI. So I got a lot of questions about SDC uh, on my DMs and stuff. So I have no issue with you guys Swing or, or day trading this, but please be careful. Smile Direct, very, very, very sketchy company. And this is a Twitter pump this week. Okay. So, again, it's not a bad thing. When I say it's a Twitter pump, when I say it's a Wall Street bets pump, when I say it's a chat pump, that's not, that's, I think it's construed as negative. It's not. But the reason I bring it up is I want you knowing what you're trading, okay? So I get the DMs from the true believers on Smart on, on Smile Direct, and I'm like, no, 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 no. This company's got all kinds of issues. They're they're allegedly, if any, if 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 there's any of my lawyer friends out there, they are allegedly, <laughs> you know, like cooking the books. They got a lot of shady stuff going on. And I think a lot of people have got suckered in believing the Twitter pump. So trade a dip and rip, trade an afternoon VWAP hold, you know, trade red to greens, trade bounces off of VWAP, trade all of our <clears throat> trade out all of our day trade patterns. But please, please don't become a true believer in SDC. I see the pumpers. I see them. They're out there. So just know what you're trading. Let's wrap up on CEI. This stock just refuses, refuses, refuses to die. And what I would do with this, and I think it's worked all week, back to that break of previous day's highs. So I think the only reason CEI is still up, okay, I mean, you know, again, and I've been, speaking of consistency, I have been bashing, I mean, I'm like, we're stock in the world. We're stock in the world. We're stock in the world. But if you notice, every time it breaks highs, it spikes. So look at that candle yesterday. And and listen, I know it's a 15 cent candle. Okay. I'm not trying to say, let me delete some of this. I'm not trying to say that, you know, this is like, oh, holy crap, 15 cents candle. Oh, amazing. You know. We don't really talk scalping here, okay? This is not a but but the point I'm trying to make, if you look at this chart back multiple days, multiple weeks, really, every time it breaks a high a day, every time it breaks all of these key levels we talk about, 
you tend to get that spike. And what that's telling you is you got a lot of shorts bagged because they're panicking at those higher days, at those breaks of previous days highs, at those multi-month breakouts, etc. So that would probably that 187 level would be the main watch on this thing. It is Friday. I would hope that any short that's been trying to guess the top is smart enough to get out by the weekend. So that's why I wanted to finish with the breakdown on CEI and, and SDC. Day trades only. Super duper sketch. Understand what they are. Day trade them all day long. But day trade with your eyes wide open. Most of you know I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of of Stanley Kubrick, you know, Full Metal Jacket, quite possibly my favorite movie of all time. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's like you kind of got like the John Wicks, you know, you know, but, but Full Metal Jacket, I don't know. I probably watched it a hundred times, 2001 way up there. Um, but the point is don't go in eyes wide shut. Okay. Go in eyes wide open and know that they're just pumps, trade key levels, in and out quick, etc. And then OPAD. What's OPAD doing? OPAD will be a glorious red to green. Um, I don't know if anybody asked about OPAD. Um, this thing goes green on an afternoon. Oh, it will be glorious. All right, my friends. Have a great day. As always on Fridays, I like to remind you of the watch list. StocksToTrade.com slash watch list. Free, 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 free. And StocksToTrade.com slash free training. Get you the, the six video day trading 101 watch list or, 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 or uh, a course for free. You get the worksheets and then you also get signed up for that uh, swing trading and short selling course that I have coming up in the next couple weeks. And have a great day. Have a great weekend, my friends. It's been an amazing week. Um, I always beg, 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 especially newer traders, focus on the afternoons. Um, there will be an epic trade today. And I typically they come in the afternoons, especially on Fridays. Keep manage your risk, okay? If you had a good week, no reason to get too oversized, get too aggressive, um, let things come to you. And uh, it's, again, been a, been an incredible week. If you're patient and you wait for the setups, you wait for the levels, you stick to your stops, you have realistic goals. I mean, we've had some, listen, we've had some huge runners this week, you know, INDP. I mean, INDP is such a great example of an amazing, amazing stock. But if you got greedy, okay, things were, things probably ended up bad. Okay. INDP on Wednesday, freaking glorious. But if you were waiting for 40 or 50 or 100, and now you're sitting here twisted upside down, that's not what we do here, okay? You know, if 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 CRVS spikes a buck a share, you move on. You're not sitting there waiting, saying, oh, it's going to hit 30, oh, it's going to hit 50, oh, it's going to hit 100. No, no. Three and one risk to reward based on the chart, realistic goals and expectations. That's how you become consistently profitable. That's how you achieve the dream of trading every day in your pajamas, living the dream, baby. Shaving once a week, you know. So, all right. Have a great day, everyone. And we will see you next time. Bam, 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 bam,